CBS Atlanta News presents Public Affairs on Peach. Hello and welcome to Public Affairs on Peach. I'm Brandon Rudat, co-host of Better Mornings Atlanta. This week, we are taking on the tough subject of human trafficking. Consider this. Hundreds of young girls are sexually trafficked in Georgia every month. Right now, there are more people trapped in slavery than ever before. Easy it is to turn a blind eye to a problem that is so dark and so dangerous. Many people don't even want to admit that there's a problem. Well, in this program, we're going to be putting a face on the problem of human trafficking. We're going to be exploring how young girls are being lured into prostitution. We're going to be hearing from a woman who was brought into the sex trade at 15 years old, and now she's helping young women get off the streets. Plus, the other dark side of the sex trade, the pimps who are out there targeting teens to turn tricks. I sit down with a former pimp who sold sex for more than 30 years. You have to be a real piece of crap to treat women like I did for as many years as I did it. That man right there has turned his life around and now he's hitting the streets to encourage pimps and young prostitutes to find a better way. But first, just how bad is the problem we face here in Metro Atlanta and what is being done to stop it? I want to go home. Our father, daddy, in heaven. where are you? It happens every day on the streets of Metro Atlanta, but you don't always see it and no one talks about it. Sex slaves are being sold all over the area. 7,200. 7,200. 7,200. The number of men every month in Atlanta who are serviced by these underage girls. According to ICE, Metro Atlanta is a major hub for human trafficking. Each weekend, up to 150 girls are raped for profit. The average age is 14, but there are some victims as young as nine years old. It's a large metropolitan area, a large customer base for the sex trafficking business. Across the globe, 12 million people a year are pimped out for money. Earlier this year, Governor Nathan Deal signed a bill into law that cracks down on penalties for sex trafficking. House Bill 200 increases prison sentences and fines for human trafficking. It strengthens protections for victims. It also provides training guidelines for law enforcement on how to relate to sex trafficking victims. One. 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 The number of people it takes to make a difference in this world. It starts with you. Our next guest is part of an organization that works to help young girls caught up in the sex trade. She is now using her own experience to help save their lives. Her name, Katrina Owen. She is a peer support specialist with Georgia Care Connection. Good morning to you. Good morning. I appreciate you coming on here and sharing your story. At the age of 15, you were part of the sex trafficking world. How does a girl at age 15 get caught up in prostitution? Well, any girl at any age gets caught up in prostitution or exploitation through very different avenues. Um, quite often it starts with a void. Uh, 80 to 90 percent of sexually exploited children were sexually abused. And the others are amongst those that are sexually, sexually abused are affected by voids in their life. Whether it's a financial void, whether it's a void of their father not being there, there's voids that pimps seek within these young girls and they pinpoint those voids which manipulate well which allows them to manipulate these young girls into the life and it really doesn't matter what socioeconomic background you come from right these are not just poor girls who are out there working the streets not at all not at all these are the private school girls these are the single parent home children it crosses every financial line racial line imaginable a girl who may be watching, a parent who may be watching, says my daughter may be out there caught up in this world. How hard is it for a girl to break free of a pimp and get help? It is unimaginably hard. There is a trauma bond that exists when involved with a pimp. Um, that trauma bond could be influenced by violence. It can be influenced by the sense of I'm in love and he's done so much for me, so this is what I owe him. Uh, it's not easy to break away and it takes practice. Uh, quite often when people that aren't familiar with commercial sexual exploitation ask me, why don't you just leave? You know, why don't these girls just leave? And the best thing that I could 
give them is it's very similar to a domestic violence relationship where the wife just won't leave her husband. And even though she's getting beaten day after day or week after week because of that emotional bond and whatever other connections there are, it's not so easy to leave. Your advice to a young girl who may be watching, who may be thinking about running away and getting involved in this? Talk. Talk. And talk to someone listens. Be one of the main things that I hear from our victims is that no one listens. You know, before I ran, I said something, but no one listened. You know, I tried to speak to the social worker, but no one listened. And so many people from so many parts of the community, whether it's law enforcement, social, um, social workers in school, DFACs, as well as other partners in the community, are beginning to listen. Now that they are aware that it is an issue, they're beginning to listen, and they're being properly trained to pick up on those signs and those risk factors for the youth that are affected by sexual exploitation. Katrina Owens, thanks for joining us this morning and sharing your part of the story. We Thank appreciate so that. And coming up next year on Peach Tree, Public Affairs on Peach, what the state now doing to target those involved with human trafficking. You're going to meet a senator who has worked for years raising awareness on that issue. Plus this. The drugs, the pimping, the money, the cars, that was all to make myself feel better about who I, how bad I really felt about myself. He became a pimp when he was a teenager, but he beat the streets and now he's helping others turn their lives around.